Hello, friends. This week's devotion is titled, Close Out. During quiet time recently, Holy Spirit revealed to me that we're coming into a time of judgment and settlement. The gavel of God is falling, and he's so kind to warn us. There are going to be releases and reinstatements, relocations and redemptive relationships, and everyone must rise. God is bringing a close to resistance and strongholds for many who have struggled for a long time. Where the enemy tried to close in on his beloved like a shark, God is shutting him out. God is a closer. I was reminded of a popular baseball closer named Craig Kimbrell, who was once with the Atlanta Braves. Craig threw so fast and hard, he was named Flamethrower and was credited with a high number of saves. Fans knew that when the Flamethrower was announced at the ballpark, it was game over. Crowds went wild, lights blazed and sirens sounded as Craig walked onto the field. He would take his position on the mound, throw a few fastballs, and strike out the opposition. Craig the Flamethrower made it look easy and he didn't even get dirty. Similarly, God has been warming up to save his people from long-term opposition. We're upon a time right now when God will reverse the flame right back to the enemy's camp, shutting out the gaslighting spirit and fast-tracking his people forward into greater. The key is to be found faithful. And Holy Spirit reminded me that faithfulness comes after repentance. Therefore, now would be a good time to make an intentional effort to invite him to search our hearts and repent of any wrongdoing he convicts us of. This may include any flesh reactions to afflictions, such as bad attitudes, sharp words, inappropriate judgments, unforgiveness, and the self-justification of it all. For those who have knowingly and willingly afflicted others, Holy Spirit revealed to me that he's turning his nope into hope when they lay down their resistance and repent. Holy Spirit was especially referring to the masked ones who have a form of godliness but deny its power. Also, lukewarm believers with divided hearts who are holding on to their own ways while attempting relationship with God and others. Revelation 3 verse 16 reminds us that God will spit them out of his mouth. Remember that God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble, according to James 4 verse 6. God has been looking at our hearts to rightly judge along his full spectrum of justice. He's looking for those to bless and determining where they need to be and with whom. Very soon, Those who do not walk closely with God may be surprised or even shocked at their outcomes. It's time to lay down the false gods, including the God of self, and remember that the only way we can please God is by authentic faith in Him. Jesus wasn't selfish. His attitude was to save a world of other people at His expense. His heart was dedicated to our Heavenly Father and His purposes. Holy Spirit also impressed my heart that there are some Jacobs who will finally receive more of their outward blessings of Abraham. The wrestle has come to an end, and it will be no more. God is flaming out their spirit of defeat. In general, where the opposition may have tried to preclude, which was to make impossible through consequence and rule out blessings in advance, God has overruled and overturned the impossible. Where the opposition may have tried to exclude God's people in the past, which was to bar them from participation, consideration, or inclusion, Holy Spirit is inviting them closer to receive even better than what they had before. Where the opposition may have tried to close in, which was to oppress and isolate God's people, Holy Spirit has turned their experience into incubation or transformation and is now bringing them into new arenas for outward expressions of exponential blessing. And God doesn't want to leave anyone out. He's already been working to establish new boundaries. He's even about to bring some properties to close and settle some long-awaited promises. Already, he's opening the eyes of decision makers to his truth that'll cause them to make new decisions in favor of his beloved. A key strategy in all of this 
in addition to coming closer to God and getting our hearts right with him, is to let God work it out his way and in his time. It won't be long now. Pretty soon, many will realize that God has indeed heard their cries during their patient wait in affliction. To him be all glory, honor, and praise. Amen.